Hello everyone and welcome to Fantasy Farming Orange Season. Now then, I've made it through to the summertime and uh, I'm managing to sort of muddle my way through, kind of guessing what you have to do. Of course, it's a game very much like Stardew Valley. It's sort of uh, the same but different, if you know what I mean. I'm a great Stardew Valley player. I've played over a thousand hours in Stardew Valley. So, of course, I'm bound to compare and... Uh, yeah, it's okay. If anything, maybe it's a little clumsy, shall we say, compared to Stardew Valley. But uh, let's not keep comparing it to Stardew Valley. Let's just to take it for itself. Um, over here is your store. It's not going to be open at the minute. Like this sort of game, you go around foraging things. You get tools. You upgrade them. You uh, do a spot of farming, you do mining. All the things that you would do uh, in the other one. That's the general store, but he's not open yet. I haven't got any particular plans for today. Uh, I don't have to water the things. So it's a, a day I might go fishing or I might go down the mines. Um, I'll take you down the mines and uh, we'll see what's going on down there I'm struggling to kind of uh, get silver ore and I don't think I've come across gold ore yet so we can speed up a little bit by pressing that now I've done a fair bit down the mine so I've managed to uh, upgrade the bank up and we'll go to room six what I'm wanting to find is some silver ore I just need one other piece of silver ore and then I can upgrade my axe I upgraded the wrong thing last time I uh, sorry I, I upgraded my axe and I wanted to upgrade my hammer uh, so you, you just kind of go around as you'd expect. Now I'm looking for silver ore. There's not a lot of it about. I'm sure if you're used to these uh, farming sims, you'll... There's my heart level up there at the top. Let's get these things. I, I do find the the keyboard a little bit uh, oh, clumsy if I can use the word again I, uh, it's taken me a while to get used to it but maybe it's because I'm not used to it uh, I need to find a way through here right I think you've got the hang of what's going on here I'm looking for these sort of rocks uh, would help if I got the right tool. That's getting me iron ore, but it's silver I want. So I'm going to keep on hunting, and I'll get back to you if I've been lucky. Well, I've come down to uh, <coughs> floor three. I'm not having any luck with the uh, the silver ore, and I don't feel like wasting my time with the other stuff. So. We'll carry on the search. Well, I've just about used up all my energy, so uh, I'm just going to come up the mines and give it up as a bad job today. Okay, we'll head back home and... Ah, uh, oh, there's a banana. We'll go and grab it. And I spotted another one over there. We could have a wee go at fishing, I suppose. I've only got a heart left. You can make quite a bit of money at the fishing. Uh, to help you early on in the game, I've found. 
it's nowhere near as challenging as uh, the mini game in Stardew Valley. Right, I think we'll just head back home. Now you can get home quickly if you want to. There's uh, an option here. Just scroll down and choose go home. And voila, there you are. And as in Stardew Valley again, there's a bin here where you select what you want to put in. Took me a while. I'm still kind of getting the hang of this. But uh, I'm sort of getting there. <laughs> Oops. Right, that's all I want to put in there. And I've... Uh, oh, you know, I've gone and put it in the wrong place bother. I wonder if I can get it out. Okay, I'm gonna have to retrieve this. <laughs> right, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, this is what I want to put in the bin. And that fish. Okay. <laughs> now I bought myself a chicken a while back. I did also buy a rooster, which apparently I've got, but it's not appearing. So my chicken gives me one egg every day. I haven't as yet discovered any cooking mechanics in the game. They may be there, they may not, but I don't have a kitchen. And I'm not sure how to get one. Here's my little dog, and I can actually pick him up and bring him in out of the rain. Now here's the storage box, which is where I meant to put this stuff the first time. <laughs> so I'll not bore you with going through all that again. Now apparently you seem to be able to stay up um, as long as you like in this game, unlike Stardew Valley, as so far I've not discovered uh, any penalties for staying up late. Except maybe you don't have as much energy the following day. Right, here we go. We better put the dog out, because uh, it makes a mess on the carpet if you don't. Right, I've got uh, these ready. <clears throat> so I'll collect them and then I'll get my watering done. Right, here's the guy from the shop. I can't remember his name. He comes and collects your stuff every day like uh, Lewis does in there. Now I do find the watering uh, weird. I apparently have got an upgraded watering can, but it it doesn't, uh, well, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain actually. I can't imagine how if you had all these huge fields full of crops you'd ever manage to water them. However, there's an awful lot of keyboard button pressing going on. But I think you're getting the general idea, so I'll get on with the watering, get back to you. Right, that's the watering done. Here's a bit of foraging. We get the uh, oranges off the tree. And you find other bits and pieces uh, round and about the place. Okay, this is uh, where you go to get your tools upgraded. I can't upgrade anything at the minute, but uh, 
this is kind of the way it works upgrade tools refine ore that sort of thing gives you a choice of the tools you want to upgrade but i haven't got the silver ore i need so i can't upgrade anything now as it's stardew valley you go around speaking to people and i'm sure um you make friends with them on the same principle i don't think i've made friends with anybody much here they all are but i've not got a heart with anyone yet um, i assume you give them gifts i know one of the things you do is post them letters and go and speak to them but i've been too busy sort of finding my way around to do that side of it yet we'll just go into the general store I can buy a bigger backpack here. I've already had one backpack upgrade, um, but it's 20,000 gold. I think I've only got 17, and I don't really want it yet. And this is how you choose your seeds. So, and I don't want any more seeds because uh, I don't want to have to do any more watering. Right, let's go do a bit of fishing. Here we are on the beach then. We'll do a bit of beach combing. There's fish all over the place uh, in this uh, this town. We'll do a spot here. It's all pretty uh, haphazard. So you just wait for one to come along. And the way I'm doing it is when the exclamation mark pops up, you press the spacebar or Q, and you usually get something. Sometimes you just get a question mark, like that. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's quite slow. We'll just do one more. Nothing there. And another one there. Right, I'm sure you've got the hang of that. So here we are at another fishing spot. Exactly the same principle. I'm tending to do a lot of fishing. Uh, as is my want. it's quite an easy source of money. Oops, I forgot to cast. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a charming little game. Um, I can see why people like it. I don't think I would be tempted to make a series on it. For some reason, I don't think it would go as deep as Stardew Valley, but I don't know. There's probably a lot in here that I don't know about. And I do believe it's being constantly updated. But for anybody who wants a change, I mean, I've enjoyed the bit that I've been doing. I keep forgetting to cast. <laughs> right, let's go for a walk around. Well, the nice thing is, there's uh, usually something that you can forage. You don't end up going without food, really. And as you see, more fishing here. Oh, this is a good foraging day. Oops. I do <laughs> tend to struggle a bit with this uh, keyboard thing. I can actually put my mouse on the item and do it that way, which might be might be better. Not sure if I've got that right now. Yeah. Right, there isn't anything significant that way. By the way, when you first start the game, Unlike Stardew Valley, 
you don't uh, get the basic tools. I think you're given a hoe, if I remember rightly, to start off with, but you have to go around uh, the surrounding areas and find the other tools, which is quite interesting. Right, I'm back at my sales bin, and let's see if I can make a better job of uh, selling stuff than I did last time. You can see down here how much I'm going to get. 210 gold for those. 675 for those. And I'm keeping all the rest of it. So, I don't have to go to bed now. It, uh, as I say, you can stay up a lot later without getting uh, exhausted in this game. And I, I'm going to put that away. Okay. We'll just go to bed. Right, I'm just getting the watering done the following day. One thing I should mention in this game, which uh, is really awkward, the fact that unlike Stardew Valley, you can't walk through your plants. And when you're first starting off, you've got to be very careful how you plant them because you end up with plants that you can't reach. <laughs> Luckily, I think this upgraded watering can lets me get to them. Come on. Right. That's that job done. I always like to fill up the watering can now so it's ready for in the morning. As you'd expect, there's other houses uh, in the villages you can go in if you're not too early. <laughs> and of course, villages to speak to. As I say, I haven't touched on the friendship side of it yet. Now, anybody who's played this uh, a lot more and a lot better than I have, there's probably lots of things uh, I haven't come across and the things I'm missing out that should be mentioned. So, if you see any of them, do put it in the comments. I'd be very interested to know um, if there's something obvious I'm missing, something I should be doing that I'm not. As I'm only on my first summer, and just assuming it's very Stardew Valley-like, which it is. So I think everyone's kind of getting the idea. Um, I make a lot of videos on Stardew Valley. And uh, on a live stream the other day, I asked the subs if they would like, to, like me to play this game. And show them what it was all about. So that's basically what I'm doing. I hope... I've covered everything there is to cover. Here's a lady that you can buy food from to build up your stamina, which is very handy to know because uh, those hearts up there don't last very long. Now here's another area where you uh, wander about. Do a bit of foraging, do a bit of fishing. Generally go exploring and see what you can find. It's a pretty little game. It's a little bit more intriguing because it's done in a kind of, I won't say a maze effect, but you see what I mean. You've got to, you can see things but you can't always get to them. You have to figure out how to get there and removing the obstacles that get in your way for which you need tools I mean it goes without saying that chop down these things with that the stones with the... well, you, you've got the idea, haven't you? I would like to be able to use the mouse a lot more. Um, 
I must get myself trained to do that, I think. So I put the mouse on there and then collect it. I feel a lot more comfortable with the mouse, but that's just me. There are also little animals in the game that pop up. I'm sure uh, speaking to them must do something for my heart levels. Lots more fish here to catch. Now this is an area I've had a look at it. I can't really find anything to do here. But there is a mine shaft up here that says uh, it's only accessible by people belonging to the Miners Guild. Now, I'm not in the Miners Guild. I'd love to know how to join. So, uh, if anybody can tell me, <laughs> I'd be very grateful. I'll just say hello to this little thing if I can catch it. So I think that's going to be it for this uh, video. I hope I've covered a fair bit of the map and a fair bit of the activity. As I say, if uh, any of you regular players f think I'm missing something uh, very important out, please put it in the comments and tell me. I'd like to know and I know my subs would like to know. So thank you all for watching and uh, if you get the game, I hope you enjoy it. I certainly have. Bye.